Hi, beautiful. I don't know if you noticed, but it seems like every single person in the world is bleaching their eyebrows, and I am so here for the slay. Everybody in the world should bleach their eyebrows, except for me, because I did it once and I looked not good. My eyebrows are very much a part of my face. Like, imagine if I didn't have these babies on here. It'd be weird. And I can confirm it is weird. I'll never do it again. Actually, maybe after today's video, I'll end up doing it. That seems to happen a lot when I watch other people do stuff. I'm like, I need to do that now. So let's watch some people bleach their own eyebrows at home themselves and see if they can do it right. It is definitely not as easy as it looks. So we'll see. I'm gonna bleach my eyebrows. It's gonna look so good on her. I can already feel the vibes, see the vibes. I see the vision, I see the concept. It is mm, very good for her. I already convinced myself that I can pull this off. I will find a way to make myself look good in it and I cannot fail. That is the attitude I want in my life at all times. Actually, that is kind of the attitude I have. I'm like, if I f this up, I will figure out a way of making it work. And that is how we should all go through life. I have some developer left over from like two years ago when I bleached my own hair. 20 volume developer. And we got the off brand Vaseline. She has 20 volume and powder lightener and also Vaseline to protect around your eyebrows. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yes, that is exactly what we need to do. Oh my God, wait, where are my rings? I feel so naked, hold on. <sighs> Much better. Oh, did I finish what I was saying earlier? 20 volume and lightener is perfect for pretty much anybody for eyebrow lightening. You don't really want to use 30 too, too, too much and you don't want to fry your eyebrows off. It is very fine, fragile hair. Pretty much 20 volume will work on anybody. Let me like wash my brows off a little bit real quick just to make sure there's not any oil or anything that might get in the way of this process. You definitely don't want to scrub your skin before applying bleach to it and bleach eats through everything. Oil does not stand a chance. Oil does not affect the outcome of the lightening process. Bleach is literally made to f disintegrate your hair. First up, we take the Vaseline. We're gonna rub it all around the perimeter of all this so I don't give myself chemical burns. The instructions on this say to use a one to two ratio, but I need this stuff to be pretty thick because it's going on my eyebrows. Good idea because we do not want the bleach to drop in our eyes. That's the scariest part of watching people do this to themselves. It's like, please do not get this in your eye. Please don't go blind. I'm gonna get some on my brush, cover my eye, and go ahead and get through everything. Really gotta get through every single hair. What the hell is this application? What are we doing here? I mean, I don't usually use a spoolie, but you can just take a Q-tip, put it in there, and just get it all in. I don't think I'm going for like a white blonde type bleached brow. Let's apply it to just our eyebrows and not the skin around it. Again, it's getting a little sloppy over there. It's getting like, ooh, it's everywhere. Ah. No, keep it here. I think I'd like it to be maybe just a tiny bit darker than my skin tone and my eyebrows are already sort of light on their own so i really think this is gonna work pretty quickly all right so there's one eyebrow okay she thankfully applied so much lightener so 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 much that is how much lightener you should put on your eyebrows if you're bleaching them that way you get them nice and bright white i know a thing or two about bright white i can't my eyes can't I don't have my glasses on. Okay, so this one's gonna be an even more challenging task for us. I'm so glad she's closing her eye as she applies. That way she has no chance of getting this into her eyeball. I've definitely gotten bleach in my eye before and it's not comfortable. It actually really hurts. Yeah. Don't do that. Okay, I think I've got everything coated pretty well. Slay, I love this look. I want her to do her roots too right now because we get the entire look like Frosted white hair, frosted white eyebrows. Oh, it would be so damn cute on her. Let's go ahead and check on this. She's doing a check before she rinses. Great idea. That way you can ensure that when you take this off, your eyebrows are nice and pale yellow. We're going for pale, pale yellow, okay? Mm -hmm. I think because I screwed up the ratio of developer to lightener so much, maybe it's taking a bit longer. What the fuck? Her eyebrows did not even change color a little bit. That developer has gone bad or something. I don't know, I'm confused. Okay, I think I'm just gonna take it off now. If I really don't like it that much, I can just go in and bleach them again. They're very orange. Girl, what? 
What? Did you only leave that on your eyebrows for like five minutes? We need a good 15, 20, 25, 30. You know what I mean? Like it depends, but this ain't gonna cut it. I'm gonna put some purple shampoo on them and see how they come out. God damn, this purple shampoo thing will never end, huh? Purple shampoo does not solve all your problems. It can definitely make life a lot better and a lot easier and make your hair nice and bright and white, but it's not gonna change your orange brows to be blonde. Purple shampoo doesn't lighten, it tones. This stuff is pretty pretty potent. I don't really know how long to leave this on for. Okay, so the instructions don't actually say to leave it in for like any amount of time at all. It says you just stick it in, zhuzh it up a bit and clear it all out. Let's just do that. And then if it's not enough, I'll just put on some more and we'll do it again. Yeah, okay, so that didn't actually do anything at all. Of course it didn't. Okay, what if we just put the bleach back in? That's a great idea. Except you should have just waited long enough the first time. But it's fine. You're correcting your mistakes now. I appreciate it. We're doing round two. That's a great choice. Now just make sure you leave this on your brows for long enough this time. And also, what would really help is if you put saran wrap right over your brows to keep the heat in as it processes. That will make sure that your brows get very light quickly and that heat stays trapped in. And then we'll wash it out again. Then we'll put the purple shampoo in and leave it. Let's go ahead and take it all off now. Okay, she's very orange still. So purple shampoo, we're gonna leave it on this time. We're gonna let it marinate. I'm gonna let this stuff sit for some time. Ellie, 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 your eyebrows are not light enough. Stop rinsing the bleach off, please. The brows are a little bit more orange than the purple shampoo is capable of correcting. Or is gonna have to bleach them again. Oh my God, we're doing another round of bleach. Oh fuck. Girl, your skin is probably raw at this point. You're just gonna fall off. 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 I don't like the way I said that. Off. Just fall off. <laughs> I'm gonna use a higher ratio of developer this time, so hopefully it'll go a little faster. The itching is starting to feel like stinging, so let's go ahead and get this stuff off. How do they not even look any different? They're like the exact same color. Where are we gonna go with this now? Because she's done this twice now and I'm a little bit worried that she's going to try to bleach them again. Actually, I do want her to bleach them again, but her skin is gonna hurt so bad. Got some toner. This is Wella T18. I'm supposed to be pretty good at countering these orange tones. <sighs> more and more painful. I don't want to do this anymore. Please, please. T18 is not going to solve your problems here. It might make it better, but it's probably not going to do much. You need to lay them again. Just leave it on there long enough. God, I'm getting angry. They feel soft. They feel fine. It says to leave it in for up to 30 minutes and to just check in on the hair frequently. So I will come back to you guys in just a little bit. But let me guess, you're going to leave it in for two minutes instead of 30 because <laughs> that's been the theme of today's video. Still a little bit yellow. It didn't do much of anything. Maybe in a few days I can hit it with the toner again. Let's not hit it with the toner, let's hit it with the bleach. So I'm gonna let her rest. I'm gonna let her breathe. I see a lot of people doing dark eye looks with their bleached brows and it looks really cool. So I think that's what we're gonna try today. Let me change out of my pajama shirt and get my hair together and get in some better lighting and we'll do the final presentation. All right, let's see the finished look with the makeup. I think it looks cool. I think it looks modern. I think I look like a semi alt girl. I was getting really worried there near the end, but I gotta say, I do actually like how it came out here. I think it's fun. I think it's cool. I think it's funky. I think it's fresh. I think it's neat. <laughs> With the makeup? Oh, yes. Her fucking eyebrows look so good. Oh my God, I love it. But the path you got to get there could have been a lot more seamless and a lot easier. Next time, 20 volume lightener, process 30 minutes with saran wrap on your eyebrows. Rinse, tone with T18, that's fine. You should have perfectly white eyebrows after that, all right? You're welcome. Today, I wanna bleach my eyebrows. I've been wanting to do this for a long time, but I'm super nervous. Ooh, this is like a completely different look than the last girl because she has really dark hair. She's giving like all American, beautiful girl vibes, and she's about to give us like alt vibes, and I'm here for that. An eyebrow change can do so much for a person, and I also love the contrast between the really dark hair and the really light eyebrows, and vice versa. I bought 
eyebrow bleach. Well, I guess this is hair bleach. This is platinum. And then I bought the brown one in case I don't like how it looks. Open up the box, die, and show us what's in it because I am scared. We could just use bleach powder and bleach and developer. But no, we chose a box that we don't know what's inside of it. And it's just random things put inside the box and it's supposed to work for everybody. But it often doesn't work for everybody. I'm super nervous, but I was like, if I film a video about it, then what is really going to go wrong? It's a video. Everything has to be perfect. I used the wrong one, but I'm sure that doesn't matter. So now I have to add this whole thing. You used the wrong what? Because it probably does matter. What did you use? That was the wrong one. It says to leave this on my brows for 20 to 30 minutes. Let's do that. And let's not do five minutes like the last girl. We all saw that how that came out. And it whoop. Wasn't pretty. Plus you have really dark eyebrows, so you're gonna need a lot of power to make those things bright white. Oh my God, I'm so scared. This is going all over my skin. It's probably so bad. What do you think we do when we put bleach on the head? You got skin on your head. We put bleach on it. It's okay. I mean, it's not great. It's the same thing, you know? Bleach on your head, bleach on your face. It is the same thing, right? <laughs> now I think we wait. Do I need more? I don't know. Let's see. I'm gonna just keep adding. Now we wait. Okay. She has a good amount on there. It's a solid eight out of 10 on the application. It's definitely, a wonky on both sides, definitely different on both sides. I think we might've gone on a little out of the lines on one side and then a little bit, it's just all over the place, but it's okay, it's fine. Wait, okay, what the f Oh, hell to the yes, they're getting light. Yes, 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 we're already at the orange stage. Hopefully she does not panic and rinse it out because it is not done yet. Okay, like what do I do? They're yellow. I wasn't aware that this was a possibility. When we lighten very dark hair, it has to go past through the red stage, the orange stage, the yellow stage to get to the pale, pale yellow. So it's normal. Everyone's like, oh, you probably need toner. Dude, I don't have toner. My sister said that she's purple shampoo. I could try that. Do not wipe it off now. Please, 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 please. <laughs> I beg you. But yeah, you do need to tone your eyebrows. It's just like your hair. I threw away the instructions, so I don't know how to like take it off, but I'm guessing I can just wipe it. Oh my God, I look browless. <gasps> Wait, this looks really good. Oh shit. You're joking. Hold I have no brows. This was such a good decision. Oh my God. Okay, so they did give me toner. I just like put water on them and then I put this. And I don't know if I should like blend it in or what. This is a no. It looks worse in this lighting, but no. I dyed my brows back. There's like some dye everywhere. I hope that was cool enough. I'll probably dye my brows like a few more times. I think it's super cool. So yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Are you kidding? Oh my God, I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck the table. Oh. Sophia, please tell me this isn't true. I don't know if you just saw that, but she ended up coloring her brows back to brown without even giving us even a glimpse. We didn't even let the hair down. Give me something. We just watched that entire video of you bleaching them perfectly well, and then we didn't even get like a... I am so sad that you didn't keep it. Like you do you, but like it was the actual vibe for you. But it's fine, it's fine. I'll get over it. <laughs> We're fighting, so. Let's watch one last person do it, shall we? Maybe we can get it right this last time. Obviously there's a bit of a bleached brow trend going around on TikTok. And I tried the filter on, and I actually loved it with bleached brows. But then, you know, I did come to the realization that it changed my entire face shape, gave me like different color eyes, about three mils of lip filler, cheek filler, changed my whole chin shape. And that's probably why I liked the bleached brows on me. But I'm also like heavily in denial. So I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna bleach my eyebrows. When else am I gonna have bleached blonde hair? I mean, like realistic. Basically, my hair is probably gonna start dying soon because I bleached it and then I'm gonna have to dye it brown and like go back to my natural color So I just thought well while I have bleached blonde hair, why not bleach your eyebrows? I love the idea. Let's do it Also, I'm going into this process of bleaching my eyebrows with no instructions I feel like it's something we can figure out together. You can use this as an instruction video It's probably not gonna be an instructional video. So don't don't follow it guys Don't. 
So I've literally just picked up like a highlighting kit because I know there's gonna be bleach inside this. And then I also got like a, an icy white toner because I don't want my eyebrows to go like proper yellow. And then we've got some cling film to put on top to just trap the heat in because it's like a chemical reaction. And if you add heat, it speeds up the chemical reaction. Yes, she has the cling film. That is good. You're the first one to do that. So congratulations. Our bleach is mixed. I am terrified. Okay, I'm just putting on a little cotton bud and I'm making sure not to put it anywhere near my eye because that would not be fun. She's like off camera, like her head was off camera and I literally ducked down and looked up as if you can like see into a YouTube video. Brad, the, the framing's not gonna change if you look through it. Okay, I got quite a lot on my eyebrows. I did think I should probably run through it with this little like kind of toothbrush thing I got from Super Drug yesterday. That amount you put on your eyebrows is so perfect, but don't run through it with a, a toothbrush. You're just gonna end up wiping the bleach all off. Don't do that. Okay, and now I'm just like wrapping it in cling film. Okay, slip. Her application was perfect. The cling wrap, everything is going very well. I'm not really sure on what to do while I wait for these eyebrows to be done. Now, hopefully she waits a long enough amount of time. 30 minutes is probably good for her. Wait, I just caught sight of myself in the viewfinder. What the f***? Wait, guys, we are... Oh, wait, I'm gonna cry. I regret this, I regret this, I regret this. What is she talking about? It already looks stunning. Am I the only one who thinks this looks great on everybody? Like, this already looks really good on her, and she hasn't even wiped off the bleach yet. Like, the moment is there. Right, let's use a little cotton pad and take this off, because you know what? If it's not bright enough, we'll just do Ronto, because I've got so much bleach. Parts that maybe a little bit more brown than others. So I'm gonna put a little tiny bit more bleach back on. Why? They look great already. Why are we doing more bleach? And then we will put the toner on because I feel like the toner is really where it's all gonna come together. All right, people, this is how they're looking. I also think I accidentally left a bit of bleach up here. Oh my God. I When I say I'm obsessed with this on her, I am fully 100%, 1000 million percent actually obsessed. Now it's time to do toner. Again, use some cotton buds and just pile that on my eyebrows because I don't really want them to be yellow. I feel like yellow bleached eyebrows isn't really a look. Such a good idea to tone them though. Like, the yellow eyebrows, it never really works that out that way. You have to get a nice and silvery blonde. The problem with the bleached eyebrows is I'm saying like, oh, it's going to look so cool when I've got a cool outfit and my hair down and my makeup done and stuff. But the reality of it is I hardly ever wear makeup. I hardly do wear a cool outfit. It's like a one day a week thing. So the other six days of the week, I am going to look like a little goblin. But that is just not something that I want to come to terms with right now. So instead, I'm going to wrap my eyebrows in cling film and wait 10 minutes for the toner to work. Okay, the toner has been on for 20 minutes, so I'm taking it off. This is what we're working with. I beg you, do not jump to conclusion. Okay, I'm going to go on camera and do my makeup and then I'm going to come back and we will see what it looks like. Okay, makeup is done. I'm not like fuming at it. Eyebrows are also quite yellow, which I'm probably going to want to fix. And this is the final outcome. You know what? I'm going to back myself here. I actually really like it. it probably does need slightly toned because if I go up close they are quite yellow still. But I don't know. I think they're really fun. Dude, dude, dude. You look so fun incredible with bleached brows. This whole look, the outfit, the makeup, the hair, the eyebrow, everything just came all together. Oh my god. You just went up the cool scale by like 10 points. Like you just went off the scale with doing that. Yes, 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 yes. And you were right though. You do need to tone them correctly. Try T18 for this case. It would probably work for you. Whatever. It looks fun dope anyways. Please tell me you kept it. Please. So that just goes to show me literally everybody looks good with bleached eyebrows. I've yet to see anybody who doesn't pull it off besides me. <laughs> and I like to think that I can pull off a lot of things, but bleached eyebrows, it just doesn't look right. Except I feel like these girls didn't really think it looked right either. So maybe it's just that thing in my head. I don't know. If you want to check out my hair care line or my hair color line, you can do so with the links right down below or go to xmodohair.com. That is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.